Yo guys, what is up? Mr. Pickens here, playing some Euro Truck Simulator. Um, this is going to be the second game on my channel. And, uh, yeah, basically, I'm only going to play this very occasionally. Maybe part of Saturday special, um, Sunday special, whatever. Uh, I'm already in... I've already got a... I'm already on a job. So let's go right into this. Yeah, so I have the Volvo. Um, the what's this? Uh, yeah, Volvo FH sleeper. That's my um, truck. It is my truck. I have bought it. Uh, I'm just going to apologise if you hear uh, squeaking, like buzzing or something like that, it's my mic. I am hopefully getting a new one for Christmas. Uh, and then hopefully that will solve the problem. Wait, I don't know. What is my cruise control? What's my cruise control setting? I'm using my PS3 um, PS3 pad. No, it's not so tiny. There we go. What's my pocket? What can I set my pocket? So uh, this um, uh, this video is also going to have information about my channel. There will only be one, I think, depending on how bad the buzzing is. There's only going to be one other video after this video coming out on my channel before, uh, before Christmas. Just because of the buzzing, uh, let's get that fixed before I start doing a lot of videos but that video the other video that's coming out will be a surprise on it'll be going up on Christmas Eve I think yeah you should hopefully enjoy that so yeah I think I don't know where I'm going actually because I've not been on this game for quite a while uh, yeah Say the destination Pra. Pra, Pra, Pra I don't know how to say that. Delivering some excavators. Getting 32k out of this job. Yeah, it's a good game. I found the game on Corrales' channel where he plays it occasionally and just thought it looked pretty cool, so I thought I'd get it off Steam. I got it in 75% off here, about £3.95. That's what I thought it was worth a shot. Worth a uh, look at. And to connect my PS3 remote, I'm using DS3 Motion Joy Pad. I think that's what it's called. If you just type in how to connect PS3 remote to PC, there's plenty of videos to look on YouTube. 61 quid. Some of these toll roads are way too expensive. I don't even get it. Well, yeah, I've already s I slept before. Whoa, what the hell is this guy doing? Anyway, uh, I slept before I start the video. Just get that out of the way. It doesn't take very long, it only takes like a second or two, but. I don't think this video is going to be very long, to be honest. Just introducing you to the game and telling you that, uh, telling you about videos and that. Uh, this I'm only playing this game solo because I don't think I know anyone else that's got it or has even heard of it. To be honest, I don't, I don't know uh, what uh, country the game was made in or anything like that. I've only, like I said, I only found it on Corrales' channel. Whoa. And it crashes the wall there. Get 
getting a bit of lag. But not too bad to be honest, I thought it'd be worse. Hopefully I'll get them, but not too bothered if I don't. Just really hope I get a mic, to be honest. As you can see down in the bottom right hand corner, there's a map. Of the red line is where I need to go, and there's little uh, greeny yellow little arrows telling you, telling you when to turn and if you have to turn off the road, sort of thing. I recently bought this truck, as you can see, I, I've only got 34k. can take uh, loans out and stuff, but I'm not sure whether to do that, because I've only seen a couple of videos on this game, and I don't know whether it's easy enough to get out of debt, you know what I mean? I don't really want to be in debt, and then not being able to get out. The aim of the game is to start a big business up. <sighs> Start a business, get a trucking business going, and get uh, get drivers to work for you, basically, and make as much money as you can through trucking. Um, I thought it was pretty cool. I did. When have I got? As you can see on the map down below, it says ETA, and then Sunday, 7:30. You do have a deadline to make with the trailer that you are, with the job that you're taking on. Uh, I'll have a look at this one. I just like that. I just Yeah, like I said, you do have a deadline to make. And if you don't make that, you get, depending on how late you are, you get a bit of a, a bit of a fine. Once I was on a 30k job and got like a 20k fine because I'd, I'd slept too early, then I needed to sleep. <sighs> I got there, which was a bit of a bum, and uh, yeah, it cost me 20k, which was a bit. I didn't lose it obviously, but I only got 10k out of the thing instead of 30k, and it was annoying because one one trip can take quite a while, as you can see, because you don't really make much progress because. Flying through the speed, flying, flying through the streets as fast as you can. But yeah, I uh, don't know where I am in the world, so to speak. My main base is in Germany, I think. I was, I did test the game out before I started. And I did put myself in Sheffield, which is nearest to where I live. And uh, there was wasn't many jobs where you didn't have to go on a ferry. You had to go on a ferry quite quite often for most jobs, which does take time. And I, I can't remember if it says on your ETA uh, for the amount of time that it's going to take on the ferry, which is. Why I chose uh, one in, in Germany because that's right in the middle of all the places where you can go. I'm going to sleep in bed. Uh, right in the middle of all the places that you can 
go and I thought it was a, a decent place to start really because yeah, get a lot of options. Uh, you can take jobs from anywhere, any big city obviously, a big town, wherever there's trucking, wherever you can drive to basically on a job. for that obviously uh, which is like stuff to save you money or make you more money like there is one called eco driving I think it's called where you don't um, use as much fuel which at the beginning I thought was pointless because you can take jobs if you don't have a truck of your own you just you, you just use someone else's truck if you wanted to say that and uh I thought it was quite pointless at the start because the company that you uh, rent the truck from pays for all the fuel. So, but then when I bought my own truck and the fuel cost me like 500 quid per fill up, I thought this might be a good idea to upgrade this to ability because the less you have to fill up, the more money you save basically. Um, there is others like you can train to uh, carry flammable goods and stuff like that, which you get more money from. But I don't think, as a driver, I'm experienced enough to get. I am experienced enough to do it, but in the game. But I don't want to crash and blow up, and I don't know if that happens. But I don't really want to find out. To be honest, I don't think you can die or. There is one for uh, longer distance stuff like that. Hopefully, I can level up pretty soon and show you in the next couple of episodes of this. But as I said, it's going to be quite frequent depending on how how you guys like it. I mean, if you like it, it'll, come, it'll, it'll make it quite a regular thing. But, but yeah, how far could it go? Yeah. But yeah, as you can see, I'm based there, I think. So it's quite, it's in the middle. Well, it's not in the middle, but it's in the middle of there. Probably should have chosen some, somewhere like that, but as you can see, all the yellow roads are where I've explored. Excuse me, uh, the yellow roads are where you've explored. I have been to England and only a few times there. on a train, which is quite cool. You don't actually see it, it's just like when you sleep, you can sleep in that Went up to Manchester, down to Plymouth, and then across up to London. Yeah. Then there is a freight market there where you can pick up 
Pick up trailers, and then there is a quick job, which, like I said, is where they rent you a truck and you um, just deliver it with that truck, and then you don't you don't keep that truck, so you can't free roam or anything like that. But you can free roam if you've got your own truck, which is quite cool. XP for free room, but only like only little XP, so you might as well just take a trailer and explore the map. Aren't and if you guys leave in the comments when I get to the next, uh, the next when I, when I decide to end the video, if you guys put in the comments where you'd like me to go after this job, I don't know if I'm going to complete this job. In the but if we do, I'll show you all the options from where I am at the moment, and hope and uh, yeah, hopefully you guys can, can uh, choose somewhere that you want me to go. Bearing in mind, the I don't want the videos to be too long, but if they have to be, they will. Just because of upload speed, I've got fiber optic, but I don't really want to upload long videos because. I watch videos myself, and videos that are really, really long take up a lot of time, and generally I don't have time to watch them all, like from different YouTubers. So to start, while while my channel grows, I want my videos to be fairly, fairly short, around the 20 minute mark, sort of thing, maybe a bit shorter. But that's another thing I want you to put in the comments. How long do you want these videos to be, guys? If you want to see them, obviously. If you don't want to see them, then don't record it. But I thought it's just a nice, nice change to keep fresh. No, it's, it's good. By the way, you know, because if you play a certain game for too long, it gets boring, then you don't play it. Which is what, which is one of the no another reason why, another reason why I got this game was because I was getting quite bored of Minecraft and that was the only game that I play on PC and I don't really play console that much. I've, I have got a PS3. Uh, nah, but I don't really play it that often because my brother generally plays on the PS3. He's a bit of a football addict, plays FIFA. Insurance and stuff like that. Not like it's not that. It's not that detailed. You might think the graphics are a bit, a bit uh, crappy because my computer. I did when I when I uh, when I bought it. I did used to play console a lot and never played PC games. So I didn't buy it as a gaming as a gaming PC. But uh, I got a new RAM. because my old one broke and uh, the guy that I took it to said that maybe getting a new RAM would help which I'm glad I did because now my computer is a hell of a lot better than it was I mean I can run Minecraft with when I'm not recording on everything on full on full graphics and all that the best quality but this game is just too laggy when I put it on full I've got it on medium there's low, medium, and high, and then very high. The one that the one that goes best is medium, obviously, which is the one that I want. As you can see, it's running quite smooth, but the trees and the surrounding graphics are pretty poo. 
but I've seen it on Krause's channel and he I think he has he most likely has it on four graphics and it does look pretty decent I'd say. I don't really get it for the graphics though, which is which is yeah, not the reason why I got it. Just like I said I wanted to have a uh, a change in scenery so I think I'm gonna have to look right to the left of me. Oh no. Let this guy come past the yeah yeah yeah. Yeah it is called Euro Truck Simulator, so that you can't like go to America or places like that. Only places in Europe like Poland, uh, Germany, France, England, Holland, places like that. I think. I think France, France, I'm not even sure. Not even sure if it's in Europe. I think it is. That's why I don't take geography. <laughs> saving up for a uh, new garage on this game because at the moment I can't hire any drivers because I don't I only have one parking spot in my garage which means that no other drivers can park their trucks there so I can't get any drivers to hire which is a bit of a bummer but good feature I think it's 180 180 grand to upgrade your garage Like I said, I don't want to take a loan out at this point until I'll look further into the game. Because of the... Uh, I don't know how easy it is to get the money back that you borrow. And I think any money that you borrow, you should be able to pay it back whether or not it's in a little while or in a very close future, like say if you only need a little bit before to buy something, say if you like 100 quid short or whatever, say if it's a pretty big thing for your house or something like that, something that you need and there's like, you only need like 100 quid, 100 quid short, no I need to be on, need to be on the train, <laughs> so down there, um, if you need like 100 quid short I think that's alright because then you're not really going to be in much debt if you pay it back pretty soon but I don't really like it be in debt. it is difficult to turn because I should imagine it's different to driving a car uh, because of the trailer that makes it So I'm not quite used to it to be honest. Never drove a truck obviously. <laughs> Never drove a car really. Should imagine it's more difficult with being a pivot in it. Can you imagine that a truck with a fixed trailer on it? That'd be that'd be pretty insane, I'd say. Like an ultra limit. Yeah, if you've got Steam, I would recommend getting this game. I think normally it's about £14, but Steam do a hell of a lot of deals. Like I said, I only got it for £3-ish. And, uh, I think it's a good deal, to be honest. I like the game. It's a good change. Good change to what I normally play. A hell of a lot different to Minecraft and stuff like games like that. See it. 
cope with that. Might just have to lower the graphic settings down. But I know Nate plays MC, he's definitely going to be in the B series once he gets his new computer. Uh, which I'm quite jealous of, to be honest. It's a pretty beast computer, I'd say. Um, oh, it looks like it anyway, from what he's shown me. The specifications and all that. You can put it, you can, going back to your own truck simulator, you can put it in cruise control, which I use a hell of a lot because I find myself sitting on the accelerator like this and just getting faster and faster. Well, obviously not while I'm going up a hill, getting faster and faster and faster and then not being able to turn. And I've nearly flipped the trailer before. I had to forfeit the uh, delivery and I had to pay like a certain amount of money because if you forfeit the delivery then it's not getting delivered so they have to find someone else to do it so you have to pay them. So a lot of it, there's quite a few aspects of this which are real, like really resemble real life. But then there are aspects that are obviously can't be real, like I said the insurance part Rear view set to rear view, but you can just rear view. Um, you can change uh, where you look. I've got it set to my right analog stick. As you can see on that, and I've got one that sets it back to the middle, which is if I click my left left analog stick, it resets the camera to the middle, which is I didn't recommend setting. time you rejoin me will be at the the freight market place in places near to near enough to where um, what is it? near enough to where the place the freight market is I, I'll I'll make sure to go there. You can zoom the map out as well, I'll show you that in a bit.
time underneath it, and it says F5, F6, F7, F8. There's a uh, gas station. Why do I call it that fuel? Petrol station. There we go. Uh, petrol station. Uh, so I'll just pull it. And then that'll be the end of the video. Make sure to leave your feedback in the comments.
close eye. Had no, you have to, I think you have to get some sort of, uh, software. Makes sense, like a program to connect it. I don't think you can just plug it in and then to play on the game. It has the option for the controller to play. Yeah.